The Tomei Corporation presents basic setup and operating instructions on the EM3000 specular microscope. Plug in the unit and turn it on. Remove the small door on the base and plug in the external printer. Open the front panel on the printer and plug in the cable. Load the print paper at the back. To set up the unit, press Setup on the main screen. Press Common, press Auto Power Off, press Buzzer On, select NDY for date format. Press the return arrow. This time press Function. Press Standard Mode. Press Variable. Press the return arrow. This time press Print. Press Pick Bridge. Press the return arrow. Press Save and Exit to return to the main screen. The setup procedure is only performed when the machine is installed or if you wish to make a change. To take a picture of the patient's endo cells, follow this procedure. Enter the patient data, pressing ID first. Press the ID bar. A keyboard will appear and then enter the patient's ID. If you do not use ID, type 123. An entry is mandatory to continue. Press name and enter the patient's name. The other information is not entered unless you export the data to a computer. Place the patient's chin on the chin rest. Press the chin rest buttons on the base to place an image of the eye in the center of the screen. If the center of the pupil is not inside the large circle, touch the center of the eye and the unit will automatically center itself. Press on the small circle in the center until you see colored lines on the sides of the circle. When a blue cross appears, the unit has locked on and will take up to 15 pictures of the endothelium. At this time, you can scan the other images for possible dystrophy. Touching the single arrow moves the pictures one at a time. Touching the two arrows moves the pictures three at a time. To obtain the most accurate cell count, make sure the cells are not larger than the largest sample cells in the upper left corner of the screen. If they are, you can select either large or huge. In this case, we will use small. The unit will calculate the results. In this case, the cell count is 2,803. The CV, or degree of polymegatism, is 33, and the percentage of six-sided cells is 55%. To photograph the other eye, press Next Eye, and then press L or R in the upper left or right corner of the screen. Follow the same steps as with the previous eye. Operating in the Quick Mode. To change the operating mode to Quick Mode, press Setup on the bottom of the screen. Press Function, press Quick, press Return Arrow, press Save and Exit. Follow the same procedure for capturing an image. 
but in this case, take the next eye before analysis. After you have taken two eyes, press analysis. The unit will analyze both eye images and display the results in the center column. As long as some cells are visible, a count can be obtained. Although these images are perfect, we will simulate editing. First, press Edit. Then press Area. Then form a box in the area that is not covered by Guttara. After the box is formed, press Analysis. The modified results will be displayed. Here are some sample images. These are normal, non-disease examples in both standard and quick mode. These are examples of diseased eyes. This patient has Fuchs dystrophy. This patient has ICE syndrome or ICE syndrome. No cell information again has any value. Although there are some cells visible in the center of this picture, to obtain a cell count would almost be impossible.